All right, so I'm gonna do my first workout um, set, and then uh, from there I'll continue on. Everything I do, I'm gonna do it three times. The first thing I'm doing is jumping jacks. I'm doing 25 of them. Um, I wrote on there times two, but I always try to do times three. I just feel like today I'm not in the mood to exercise.
good stretch. So I'm going to do a little bit of stretching. Um, stretching is good to do before you're working out. It helps prevent um, tears and sprains. I would say I'm not doing anything. If you feel like you're not doing either, uh, you can comment below and tell me I'm not alone. Uh, I'm not drinking enough water. Um, I kind of find that I don't drink enough water and um, I definitely need to work on that. How many of you do you feel like you need to work on that as well? I know I do. So I have one sock up and one sock down. These are ankle socks. Um, I mean, yeah, these are ankle socks. I personally don't like my socks showing. What about you? How do you like to wear your socks? Um, I like them where they're below the line of the shoe. So you can't see it compared to seeing it. It's just a personal little thing of mine since I was young and back then they didn't make socks that were ankles so I would always have to like hold my socks under in my shoe and at first it was uncomfortable but then you get used to it um, but I don't know if I'm the only one or anybody else too um, but these shorts are the cutest shorts but I feel like they kind of like are too short um, but they came from Walmart um, and then the top came from Zaya. So I'm kind of wearing a mix and match of two name brands. Why do I keep doing it every day? Um, I want to be my size that I'm meant to be. I don't want to be heavier than what I'm supposed to be because then my joints and everything would start hurting, I would say, as you get older. Um, so I don't want to put um, extra things on my body that I can actually control by what I'm eating, how I exercise, and you know, what I put my time into um, for other things that don't matter. So use my time to use it for myself when I can, really. Um, I try to put myself in the mix every single day because um, it's important to me. Um, 
It's not a selfish act at all because it's for my health. Um, but it is a um, a constant battle, I'd say. Um, but you know what? You have one body. God gave you one body. You can't go out and switch it. And, you know, like, I always use the metaphor of a car. A car's engine. And I always say, like, um... If you don't take care of the engine of your car, what's going to happen? Eventually, your car is going to stop working. And then you got to get a new car, right? Um, but the only problem is you can't go and get a new body. You can pay to get things removed and implanted and changed, yeah. You can. But... Not a likely thing. I pull in the truck. No, don't pull the truck. I can pull the truck. Okay. He's pretending to be um in the lawn service. Cutting grass. I'm definitely a um business mindset type of person. And I want to have my own creation of a business that I create. Um, my first one was a lawn business I did with my first husband. I, I thought, hey, let's go cut grass. Um, so we went and we did that. And then we did an ice cream business, which I think the ice cream business was my favorite. Like, if I could do it again to this day, I swear to God, I want to be an ice cream seller. That was the cutest thing. And... You always get happy customers, and the money was pretty good, I'd say. I would definitely do things um, a lot better on some end, um, but that's something that like I would love to do again. And the coolest thing about it was like my ice cream truck, I'm gonna put a picture of you guys. My ice cream truck was run on oil from restaurants. I would go to the restaurants and I'd say, can I go into the back um, once in a while? And like, I'll say like a certain day, that way they be consistent. And I'll say maybe like Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, can I go back there and pick up the oil that you have out there? Um, instead of you dumping it out for, for the people to grab. Um, and then I'd do like that and my, nope come this way and my truck was run by oil first first oil uh, vegetable oil truck I re rephrased it somehow I can't remember but, yeah. All right, so the next step is getting down to business in order to need business I need a little bit of heavier weight Hey guys, so I'm doing a little commercial. Today is a day I'm doing my workout for YouTube, so definitely check me out on YouTube. <clears throat> but I'm taking a break to get a heavy weight so I can do my first workout. I haven't started, except the bike. But this is what's happening. So I got 10 pound weights today and I got my yoga ball. 
I like this view of the wall. Alright, so anyways. Um, the first workout I'm going to do is going to use one um, of the dumbbells. And I'm going to take it with my two hands. And I'm just going to kind of wrap my hand around the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to lift it over my head and bring my one arm kind of like slip it up to the other arm so that way this kind of holds in my hands um, and then I'm just going to go up and down and I'm going to do that 20 times. do it 10 times with like, a, I guess we can just say a second break, two second breaks in between. And then from there, um, I like to do what's called circuits. So I kind of do uh, multiple exercises and I kind of put it together to create a actual workout to do. Um, so that's the first one. Second one is I grab the weights and um, I like doing butterfly um, arm exercises and I usually do it standing as a squat and then I do it on a ball as a jumping jacks and 10 and then I go and recreate my circle I just did again and um, I do that for the next two rounds exactly what I did um not sure time wise how long it's going to take me but um that's going to be my first circuit um and then my second circuit is just going to be two different things um and I'll show you that next It's so hard to work out, but um, just keep trying. That's all I can say, really. Um, just keep trying. All right, so I'm gonna do these weights today um, and tomorrow. I think I'm going to um, put more weights on it and then do more squatting tomorrow. Um, today I just did my arms and now I'm doing this and then I'm going to do something else after. Um, kind of make it like a mixed day of everything, get every set of your body today. Um, you know, sim simple things that I do, that I can do. All right, so this is um, the squats that I do. I basically spread my feet apart a good distance. Um, I keep my hands at a spot that um, I have it just in the perfect setting where it's straight and everything comes out to give me a form. Um, and this is how I place my hands. I'm going to put it like this. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a set of 10. I 
feel really, really tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend to sit and I'm gonna count five seconds. back up and I'm going to do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to go back and do my other type of squat, which I did ten. One. the weight bar 10 times and put my feet together. The guy got finished. And then I'm going to repeat this exercise for a two rounds. Um, so you can try it out and uh, comment below if you did or not. So today's day 12. Um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty tired right now, but um, I just rode the bike for like 10 minutes. Um, and I'm just going to do a little workout here with like the dumbbell and my yoga ball. And I'm going to do some squatting and um, I'm going to do some sit-ups um, with the ball. And um, I'm just going to do a little bit of like kind of what I did yesterday. Um, but what I really want to do today is once the kids wake up, um, I'm going to get them fed, I'm going to get them dressed, and uh, we're going to take off to the park, and um, I'm going to do a workout there. Um, I'm excited, I can't wait, and I hope it happens. Um, but if it doesn't happen, at least I put in some time right now, and I'm doing something. Um, and I'm... Basically, um, I'm really needing to watch what I'm eating right now um, and uh, get as much exercise in as I can. Um, with Herbalife, um, you learn it's 80-20 and 80% uh, of it is what you eat and 20% is what you work out. So, um, it's really mainly what I've been eating lately. Uh, so I've been thinking I might order some Herbal Life and um, just get on it already because like I was really just proving a point that you can lose weight either way but I feel like this is taking forever and with Herbal Life um, I, I don't I don't think it takes this long um, it's a quicker process I don't know I don't know. Um, I guess because it tastes so good that like you don't need to snack on anything like I have been snacking on. Even though the things that I do snack on aren't bad, but you can have an Herbalife shake and then have half a shake after and still be good because there's so much less in sugar, it's just um, less fat it's just a lot i guess so i mean if you're if you're trying to lose weight like i recommend herbalife i really do um it really works and i got into the business a long time ago and i even had a, sh uh, a shop and everything and um i definitely believed in it back then and as time went by i was questioning it um but as the science experiment I'm doing on YouTube on me losing weight without Herbalife and how you can still lose weight after stopping Herbalife, like, yes, you can. But am I happy with my results compared to being on to Herbalife? I would say no, I'm not. I really am not. Um, I'm happier when I was on the product and working out um, than me trying to... Uh, create my foods um, so that's just my my opinion though um, but if you're looking into herbal life like like I said I am a rep I can sell it um, I can be your health coach um, I can do all of that um, so let me know
lift your legs and raise them and count whatever number you want. I'm doing 10. And then you take them and you do a side kick kind of thing. You're going to kick your feet like butterflies. So today's day 12 and um, I'm going to take a short bike ride to the store and get um, two items but I figured to ride bike because like man I'm, I'm on a, a group page called Tell My Mad and I host it and um, you know I do kind of like modeling for the page and um, someone said that you know I was posing more than working out and I've seen this person on there for a while so I'm sure that they've been watching and basically he's telling me you're slacking bitch and so it just like I've been like you know kind of inspired these last few days to like get on because like I see a difference I'm even thinking about doing Herbalife because like I'm like forget this Herbalife was amazing um, but I did work out back then, um, before Alex and Selena, um, three times a day. Um, so I did more of putting that work time in, um, and I have a hard time with the snacking and eating, so that is my downfall, and that's why Herbalife is something to turn to, um, it didn't even move. I want to catch a bunny. <clears throat> Let's go look at it real quick. Alright, so we got Lewis, the camera boy. He's going to show you guys what I made down here. Uh, Lewis, point the camera to it. I'm going to try to see if it falls off when I ride this. So another thing you can do for um, exercise is get like a group of people and have them all walk with you to the park so you can work out and exercise and lose weight. So see what I do and watch.
had a small piece of this. That's amazing. So, um, another thing too, like, when you walk to the corner store for exercise, if you think about it, like, not only are you helping yourself with losing inches, but you're also saving gas and maintenance on your car, um, all of that. So, like, you know, just take a walk. And, uh, you'll see what I mean. I'm doing it in my fingers this time. Because um, I figured I'd get, like, a Sunday. Like, you never know. But, um, Halloween. So, I did a little workout at the park. Just been walking, walking a little bit on the trail. Now we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna buy some donuts for Alex. Um, and I'm going to resist not eating any. Uh, last time I ate like four of them, so. Today is June 13th. Today is Angelina's birthday. So on my YouTube, I want to say happy birthday to my first daughter. Um, Alex, come here. Come say happy birthday to Angie. Say happy birthday. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, 13-year-old. Um, hopefully you see this on my channel. Um, but uh, we are here at the park right now, and I'm about to show you guys the workout I'm doing. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 